of the people, and we got Robert Satayakum with us. Uh, how you doing tonight, Robert? Well, I'm doing real well. Uh, Raven, can you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can. Uh, thanks for uh, calling us and giving us a shout out here. And uh, I just wanted to, first, I'm glad that you're resting. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing a real good job of that. I think that I'm a victim of jet lag. Yeah, it seemed like you are in the big island, right? Yeah, I was over there, uh, you know, uh, standing with the people of Mauna Kea. You know, they're, they're trying to build a, another telescope out that way. So, you know, busy with some family and uh, standing on the front lines with the people's brother. Yeah, I tell you, the all, um, the Western mind, I just, uh, I, I know I live live in it around here, but it just seems like uh, they just don't get it, the, that these are sacred and holy places. And, you know, uh, I was in a ceremony, and I, I shared that with them. I was like, you know, when I... Uh, when I was in a ceremony, the message from uh, some of our relatives, you know, is, uh, it's not the final frontier, and they don't need us out there. You know, it's it's uh, it's here, here on the on this planet Earth, you know, that we have to take care. And, uh, we got to take care of this one first, brother. I, I know, and well, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Hawaii has been uh, militarily taken over. Um, it's you know, it's been occupied for over a hundred years, and um, so it's, I don't yeah, it's know. very present, yeah. it's very present. The military, you know, in the skies and the helicopters, the jets flying over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Marines, the Navy, and the armies are all, all stationed right there. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, I just uh, send prayers out to our brothers and sisters there, and that they can protect uh, those sacred sites and uh, their their way of life. And so. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. So hey, uh, I heard is a rumor. That you, uh, you're you're running for office. Is this true? Yeah, we we went on the campaign trail. You know, I'm uh, uh, running for uh, one of the three open seats there for the Puyallup tribe of Indians uh, to serve on their uh, <clears throat> the tribal council uh, as a member. You know, it's my hopes and wishes to join an already uh, you know successful team and uh, be a part. You know, bring my wisdom and uh, expertise and some of my knowledge and, and some of my skills, you know, and, 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 and apply them, you know, to, uh, to some of the work at hand and, uh, you know, securing uh, what we already have and uh, working to better that for the seven generations down the road, Brian. All right. So when, when is the elections? Uh... The, the elections are rapidly approaching and our, our, our polls are open from 10 to 4 p.m., on April 11th, which is Saturday, and uh, they they just had a forum, which I missed yesterday because I was en route from Hawaii to home. Uh, but they had a, down at the Inc- Business Incubator Center there off of Portland Avenue. Uh, a handful of the candidates got together to share with uh, some of the body or the citizens of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians, uh, you know, their stance and give their elevator speech and uh, answer a few broad questions. And uh, I'll be doing the same uh, this Thursday on our our show, Travel Talk Radio, you know, on 11:80 a.m. Uh, I'll be bringing in. Uh, some of the candidates to share their points of views as, as well as uh, myself and uh, and uh, just give the people an idea of what, what some of the candidates are thinking, what I'm thinking, and, uh, you know, our vision and goals and uh, wants for the tribe and its people, you know. Yeah, can we talk a little bit about some of the the uh, issues that you, that you that you are bringing forward, you know, the what you support? Well, you know, yeah, you know, well... Uh, I, I kind of mentioned in my uh, uh, the voters' guide, you know, that uh, I'm bringing, you know, the last six years, uh, last six years, uh, we're kind of been really, uh, you know, really immersed, you know, and uh, you know, trying to uh, to learn more uh, of how things work, you know, and uh, be be present, be at the table. Uh, it, it was it was whispered in my ear one time, <laughs> you know, they're they're saying, you know, if uh, if you're not invited to the table or not at the table, you're probably on the menu, you know, and so it's. Uh, <laughs> you know, we want to bring these kind of skills. And so the, the last six years of learning these types of things, that's why I'm telling the, the body, you know, I want to bring uh, uh, the, the leadership skills that I've had. I, I, you know, I served as chair in the, uh, the two-county second legislative district. And, you know, it's all Robert's Rules of Orders, but bringing that, that type of business and, uh, you know, uh, of the people, that, that the things that matter to the people. And, and so uh, what, what concerns me is, is always the... Uh, is communication. I think uh, what the, our, our membership, the citizens of the Puyallup tribe of Indians, is really wanting or needing is, is communication, you know, and that's we need uh, some, some leadership, you know. I think the, that we need 
that they're saying that they'd like to have more uh, membership meetings on, on a regular basis that they can rely on, you know, and so that that, that tells me that our, our membership are looking for, you know, things with words that, that, are, that talk to stability, reliability, dependability, and these types of things, and, and, and leadership, and so we need to know, you know, who are who are we? You know, who are we as a as a Puyallup citizen? You know, uh, and, and what does that mean? And where are we going? What are our, our goals, short term and long term? You know, what is our mission? What is our direction? You know, we've uh, you know through through gaming and and, and other uh, avenues, we now uh, in other components of our infrastructure now, you know, it's said that we're the like the third, if not the second largest employer. Of Pierce County, and it's out of Western Washington, you know, and uh, that, that that speaks volumes, you know, where we're where we're impacting so many lives, you know, in the tribe, you know, its members as well as outside, you know, non-native people as well and stuff like this. So, you know, we want to um, <clears throat> we want to give people our membership, you know, you know, where are we headed as that tribe, you know, so our our membership can, you know, feel that they're a part of the team, part, you know, part of the direction, you know, and and being in the know, you know, and I think the. Uh, that 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 that's a healthy balance, you know. That that helps its memberships emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, as well as socially too, you know. And uh, so then, you know, that that brings uh, the unity into our community as well and stuff. So I, as well, I'd, I'd like to uh, you know bring some more uh, uh, infrastructure to our to our uh, our, our tribe, you know, and empowering uh, uh, the citizens of of, of the Pelop tribe of Indians. You know, maybe we have entrepreneurs, maybe we have business people. Uh, and so we like to, you know, maybe start, you know, what about our own financial institution? You know, what about a, a credit union of our own or something like that or, or other businesses? And so we like to, uh, we have a, another member, uh, William Manzanares, and so I'd like to, you know, really form that uh, program that he has in, in, in helping people uh, be something, uh, be, a, be a business owner, you know, and, uh, and running their own business and stuff like that. And so. I guess from the talk yesterday that I missed uh, at that forum, we're talking about you know more uh, economic development. It was about more communication. Uh, what about our port development? And so a lot of the things you know as as a candidate, it's it's, it's, it's kind of difficult being a you know an armchair quarterback and not really seeing you know what what what's uh, what our current members are dealing with. You know the business that they're that they're uh, dealing with. And so you know it's, I hate to uh, you know criticize or you know. Uh, you know, you know, say things that uh, I don't know of, and like I said, be, to be that armchair quarterback. But I know, uh, you know, that uh, you know the infrastructure and the communications is really important to our to our tribe. You know, and you know our elders, our veterans, and in our our young, uh, our young and up and comers. You know, our, our youth. You know, really need uh, really have my heart and uh, the programs that they have. You know, we need to keep uh, make make sure those are you know safely put and. Uh, that they can be relied upon and going to, and as well as uh, you know, higher education. Brian, you know, is uh, is near and dear to me too. I'd like to see us uh, now, you know, start having talks of you know, not only completing high school but yearning for higher education. I tried really uh, was a great program for people that uh, with adults alike too that would like to pursue higher education, you know, and, and helping themselves, you know, in developing a career more than just a job. And so, uh, those are some of the things that uh, I've been running on, and, and hopefully that appeals to other. Uh, people of our tribe other members of our tribe you know and uh, yeah so can we do the uh when again where and uh uh yeah when and where yeah so you know i'm urging you know we, we have uh beautiful members you know throughout the throughout the globe throughout the world throughout the planet and there's some that that that, that don't necessarily live you know in in pierce county and some are living in the outlining uh counties uh, and uh residing on other reservations here uh, in a state or, or you know around uh, Western Washington, so we, we were encouraging everybody to get those absentee ballots in by, you know, by Friday. You know, Saturday it can be postmarked uh, later than Saturday, April 11th, and so we're encouraging uh, all family members, you know, to exercise that vote. You know, you can get out there uh, Saturday, uh, April 11th. You know, from 10 to 4 down at the, the headquarters, uh, our administration building down there in uh, 30th and Portland Avenue. All right, and it's uh, for a council seat. Yeah, so the Pellet Tribe uh, of Indians uh, Council seat, one of the three positions, the three uh, positions that are uh, uh, seats available. Uh, David Z. Bean uh, is the incumbent uh, and uh, busy on the campaign trail, as well as uh, Sylvia Miller and uh, Larry LaPointe. All right, and so Robert Satayakam for Council? 
Robert's attack of counsel, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, like hearing it, Robert. So uh, I appreciate you taking time with us and sharing uh, a little bit of what's uh, going on. And, uh, and yeah, I like that you said that you'd uh, – because all over. So you could uh, you can mail it in or show up. Yeah, mail it in or show up. You know, it's, it's good to always come down, you know, and do it in, per- in person. There's always people, you know – uh, you know, it's a good place to gather and see each other and get caught up, you know, and have a few laughs, a few chuckles, uh, a cup of coffee or whatever it is, you know, and, and just, just check in with one another and say hi, you know. And that's what, you know, in hopes of doing, doing creating things like that, you know, uh, once we, uh, <clears throat> once I'm selected and elected, you know, and bringing more about things like that for our community, you know, where we can come together and, and gather. We, we once had, I don't know if i got any more time, left, but we used to have a, this community center down there in Pioneer, man, and th- those were the good old days, you know, we had a lot of functions and a lot of gatherings, you know, and uh, there was a lot of unity in the community back then. So we'd like to bring some of that back to uh, to our community as well, you know. All right. And again, thanks for giving us a call, and uh, we'll stay in touch. Okay. Thank you very much. Go chaos. All right. Hey, All right. Wait. Wait.